Hey, hey guys, today I'm doing like tea room, tea towel based nails. <laughs> Good morning, the sun is shining in my face. If I lean forward, oh. <laughs> so yeah, today I am going to a tea room and coincidentally, I was thinking of doing tea-ish nails, like teacup nails, because I have this cloth, dish cloth with some pretty cool like tea cup patterns and stuff on it. I won't be able to recreate, I think like any of them, honestly, but Kind of like the general idea there is one that i'm going to try to really recreate and it's this flower one so i'm gonna try and recreate this flower one and then i'm going to a tea room with some friends later on so i'm making my nails match and hopefully they turn out decently for this look i'm gonna be using five colors or so and i'm sticking mostly in kind of the pink pink range there's a tan in here um i was thinking of using blue but i didn't want it to read too like red white and blue so i'm just sticking with these colors also if i introduce another color i think it might be too too much <laughs> so for my thumb and middle finger i'm gonna go with fake date nice pink frosted metals i remember <laughs> just this for frosted metals so yeah so my thumb and middle finger are gonna be frosted metal fake date my pointer finger is going to be see y'all later chai as the base my ring finger is going to be pinky swear as the base and my pinky finger is going to be not milky white as the base. I haven't decided if I just want to do a French tip and then do like another little line of this above it or if I just want to do white with like a line. I haven't quite decided what all I'm actually doing for the designs aside from the pink. The pink, the pink base ring finger is going to be the flowers so I'll have little red dots they probably won't look as nice <laughs> as the cloth but they, they will be an attempt so nails are oiled I gotta do my base coat and then I'll be back or actually base coat and then I'll do the base colors and then I'll be back base coat on. I did two coats of uh, fake date. I um, might do a third or actually that looks pretty good. I usually do three coats anyway just for, I don't know, <laughs> myself. But this looks good so I actually think I'll just leave it at two. And I also put a glossy taco on the rest of them because I'll be doing dotting and line work and it just kind of helps protect the base color underneath. Let's get to it. I'm gonna do a line of the chai, see y'all later chai, on my pinky and then I'm gonna do some red dots in like a flower shape for my ring finger and then for my pointer finger I'm going to do like red scalloped edge type of thing. It's like a little scallop. Like one of the teacups. <laughs> So let me get to it.
Yay! So I went to the tea place. Actually, I went to the wrong tea room. I didn't realize that uh, there was more than one tea room around here. So I went to the wrong one first, and they did not have uh, the reservation. And I was like, oh, what's, what's going on? Relooked at the message and realized that I was at the wrong tea location. Luckily, they're not that far apart. So I was able to go to the correct one, which also coincidentally did not have our reservation, but they were able to fit us in, accommodate us. So that was nice. I got a nice pot of, I think it was Earl, Lavender, and Rose. And that was lovely. And then I got like the light option, which was like two scones and then little sandwiches and little treats, little pastries, sweet pastries. So it was great. That was my first time going to one of those establishments and I had a nice, a nice time. And I, I almost forgot to take a photo of my nails with something there. So at the very last moment, I was like, oh yeah, my nails and the tea. <laughs> so I have a little bit of footage of that. Let me know if you have ever been to a tea room before. I've always felt that they were too, too fancy for me, uh, but I just went in like this sweater and some jeans. Like it didn't have to be that fancy. Um, a few other people dressed up, some other patrons dressed up so it's a nice occasion to dress up if you want but it's a nice kind of low-key thing to do to just kind of socialize a bit with friends and such if you have been to a tea room what was your experience like i'm assuming they're kind of all similar where you go and you have a pot of tea and then you have little sandwiches and pastries <laughs> that seems like that's the vibe and i'm also assuming that it's <laughs> that it's something from like England, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's like a faux England thing and it's actually American based. I have zero ideas. So if anyone has the actual idea, let me know <laughs> because it'd be nice to know other experiences and such. I wonder what the biggest tea room establishment would be. And as for my actual nails, I like how they came out. The dots, I yes, at the last minute, like right after I filmed the part of me saying that I'm going to do a little scallop, red scalloped design, I looked at the cup and I was like, oh, it's got dots on the inside. I should just do dots. Be way easier than trying to do like a little scalloped edge thing. So I did dots, white dots instead to kind of you know, not make it too complicated. And I really like that decision I made. And I also like the design. At first I was a little bit hesitant about it when I started dotting them on there. I do think if I could have changed it, I would have made the dots a teeny bit smaller because they are a little bit big. But once I got them all on there, it felt very cohesive. So, and yeah, I like maybe make my flowers a little bit bigger too, because they are kind of tiny. But overall, I, of course, like this nail art. As I'm sure I've said about plenty of my other nail art. But I do like it. I think this is one of my more cohesive ones. I think in the past, some of the ones I've done have been more just challenging myself to do, like, complicated designs. Well, complicated for me designs. So this one, and then it, it ends up being, like, too many designs. Like, a different design each nail. Which this is also, but this isn't this isn't a design it's just one color and that's what i was trying to do just make sure that it was more cohesive so yeah i think i accomplished that yes finally and so if you like this video in any way make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing i don't know what i'm doing here i'm just you know doing nail art stuff trying to you know using like I said, using the nail polish that I have, I keep getting them. And as always, thanks for being here. Bye.